hello hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you are returning subscriber thank you and god bless you how are you all doing today so my correct correct people we don't really come again with another obonge information from the palace of ife my correct correct people so since all these things are happening in the palace of ife a lot of people have been sending messages to queen naomi that she should meet with ulobi zainab or titi yeah uh, the former wife of kbac that uh, she should meet with her that there is something she needs to tell her in fact a lot of people have just been making reference to her then queen naomi decided to pay her a visit yeah to ask her so many questions uh, that are bothering her and so on and so forth so my correct correct people we had allegedly that uh, they scheduled a place to meet and they met for uh, this thing so queen naomi and the uh, all of the up they, they you know scheduled where they are going to meet and they had a proper proper meeting and queen naomi asked her all the questions that was going through her mind all this why and the all resign up advised her on what to do in certain cases but you know the part that got to us was the fact that we heard allegedly that all of resign up advised uh, queen naomi uh, that if she can move back that is it is right for her if she can go forward it is right for her as well that she should you know sit down very well think very well to know if she can do this with kbac before um embarking on it all right so she was like her huh, uh that a kbac is not someone that you just you know give your trust like that concerning women thing that kbac will promise you times without number that he, he won't do anything with women or anything but to keep that promise is always hard for him all right so um and the uh, only design up was like nothing breaks a woman uh than seeing um her husband you know being with other women that you know they give joy at all at all so she was advising queen naomi to, to think twice to you know think very well before embarking um, on that journey to check very well that she shouldn't just jump into it because uh, kbsa have been crying or have been doing anything or have been going after her it's not crying or shedding tears so uh, before people will be like kbsa cannot cry so um she was like you know advising queen naomi to check very very well before entering into the marriage so she had given queen naomi the advice she would give to queen naomi and queen naomi also asked her things she needed to ask and things she needed to know about the palace so but uh, the part as well where we are surprised was the fact that uh, all of Zainab, ex-wife of kbac um advised queen naomi that she should be very careful of olori ronke and olori miriam that she's not going to say a whole lot but uh, maybe, uh, queen naomi should be very careful of these two that they can do and undo just to maintain um just to maintain relevance in the palace of ife mm -hmm. my country people know oh, while well, they say you know too much yes even me self i would advise me now me to be uh, to be you know uh to to flee from these uh, people yeah to um give them long group because hey they can do and don't do from every information that we've been getting about them all the alleged infos eh you see that they are the most desperate they want to get that palace by fire by force they want to be there they want to be relevant they want to fit in in fact they want to by fire by force push everybody out and be there all right so of which you know it is not uh, something that we normally will come and be having or exchanging words with them or something like that but anyway um uh uh olori zainab advised that uh, that queen naomi shilekola will be mindful and be very careful when dealing with kbs when doing things with kbs when doing business with kbsc that kbsc is a two-faced man so there was a time when naomi said that as well but what we don't understand is that why is everybody saying that kbsc is a two-faced man i don't know and again when it gets to queen naomi's case i believe things are changing because uh all of his uh told queen naomi that kbsc promised her that he is not going to you know shit or anything on her then kbsc couldn't do it just for a week and kbsc jumped into what she had been doing before 
So, but you know, either it has been long since December or so before December. Self KBSC promised Queen Naomi that he's going to end things with the concubines outside and everything, and he maintained it. He had been keeping to that uh, promise. He had been, you know, uh, uh, making sure that uh, he doesn't make Queen Naomi uh, angry. He doesn't get Queen Naomi angry. He keeps to his own part of the distance. So it shows that Queen Naomi is different. It shows that Queen Naomi is different. That Queen, there is a difference between Queen Naomi and every other Olobi in the palace of Ife. Yeah. Or any any woman that KBSC had come across. So KBSC fears uh, live, uh, losing Queen Naomi again. He cannot afford that. <coughs> Excuse me. He doesn't even want it to happen at all. So all of his I won't say her advice is uh, this thing. Yeah, she did well by advising Queen Naomi. And I believe Queen Naomi asked her what she wanted to ask her and got the information she wanted from her. In fact, we heard allegedly that they discussed a whole lot of things. It has been long that they've been trying to schedule this um, meeting to happen in Nigeria and uh, uh, as a very conducive place. And thankfully, it happened and they were able to, you know, uh, talk for a very long while. You know, they discussed a whole lot of things and uh, Queen Naomi um, got the information she needed. Uh, Ulubi Zainab gave her the advice she would have given to her sister, according to her allegedly. So, my correct, correct people, remember, do not forget that all these are alleged info. Yeah, whenever you are believing anything on the internet, believe with a pinch of salt. Yeah. So, we gather this information on the internet space and uh, decide to bring to you. So, do well to like, share, uh, share and subscribe. Yeah. And then, quality drop your thoughts about them. What do you think about this advice from all of Zainab Otiti? Do you think that uh, she's trying to break with Naomi the more? Or do you think that she ad she's advising her uh, rightly? What do you think? Do well to let me know on that, the comment section. All we know is that Queen Naomi for KBAC 2024, it must happen. Mm -hmm. It must happen. God already destined it to be so. God already make them perfect match right from the heavens. So uh, we believe that it is almost coming to an end and their reunion is almost coming to, into conclusion. We can't wait to wish them happy reunion and happy together. Yeah, we can't wait to see them together again. So my correct, correct people, I'm going to be ending it here. Let me know what you think about all this. One thing is that KBAC assured Queen Naomi of his faithfulness. And I believe KBAC is going to do that. I believe he's not going to... Um, He's not going to do otherwise. Once he promised Queen Naomi anything, he they always make sure he does all those things that he promised Queen Naomi. So this one, he's not going to change this time. Mm -mm. He's not going to change at all at all. So my country people, that's it. I saw, I decided to bring to you. So do well to drop your thoughts. Share this video to your family and friends. And equally, give this video a massive thumbs up. I appreciate all your love and support towards my channel. May God bless you all for that. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.